Yo, what's going on guys? It is Fox United here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today we've got our next set of F1 2020 My Team Driver Ratings revealed for you guys here on the channel. Now, if you didn't check out yesterday's video, basically we got this article that came out and it went ahead and explained to us the new driver rating system that's going to be implemented into F1 2020. And with this, they gave us a look at how it looked like. So we had the Red Bulls driver ratings, we had Racing Points driver ratings, and then we had AlphaTauri's driver ratings. Uh, and uh, now we have gone ahead and got ourselves three more teams to showcase their driver ratings for. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. But if you didn't check out yesterday's video, how the driver rating system works is there are four key rating stats that they have gone by with experience, racecraft, awareness, and pace. The experience is going to be make, will allow the drivers to gather you more resource points to use to buy car upgrades. Racecraft will allow them to be more effective when it comes to overtakes. Awareness is to have a higher, a higher score of awareness will mean they're less likely to lose control of their car when the going gets tough and then pace quite simply is just the outright pace the more rapid a driver throughout the race uh, in terms of its pace the quicker it's going to be obviously throughout the entirety of the race and then there's going to be a contract cost a salary and a buyout as part of this driver ratings card so we have got ourselves our next set and we're starting things off with Mercedes-Benz. So Mercedes-Benz then we have got Lewis Hamilton is going to be a 94 rated card on F1 2020 and he'll have 89 experience, 93 racecraft, 95 awareness and 96 pace. His contract cost is 19 and a half million, his salary is 13 million and his buyout is 6.5 million. With Valtteri Bottas then he is a 90 rated card with 71 experience, 89 racecraft, 99 awareness and 91 pace with a contract cost of 10.5 million a salary of 7 million and a buyout of three and a half million so for the first time in f1 2020 we've got our first 99 uh, stat on a card and it's Valtteri Bottas with awareness and if we go back up to awareness a high score there means when the driver is less likely to lose control of the car when the going gets tough uh, and of course I mean uh, let's go back to Germany 2019 when Bottas lost lost control of his car when the going got tough. Yeah, kind of accurate. But if you look at um, also, you know, practice in Singapore when he binned it in the wall. And then qualifying in Mexico when he when he binned it in the wall. Yeah. Um, I'm questioning that 99 awareness for Valtteri Bottas. But he is a very, very solid driver in there as well. But Lewis Hamilton, obviously, comparing the two together, Hamilton's got more experience, more racecraft, less awareness and more pace. Uh, if we have a look, I think Verstappen was a 90 rated. Yes, this will be a good comparison. So Verstappen's got 68 experience. Bottas has got 71. Uh, so he's got more experience than Verstappen, which is fair because he's been in Formula 1 that little bit longer. 89 racecraft compared to Verstappen's 94, which is which is fair. Racecraft, of course, being uh, just allowing to unleash infected more overtakes. We know Verstappen is great on the overtakes. Bottas, not so much. Awareness, Verstappen, 84. Bottas, 99. Bottas, way quicker on that front. And then Pace, 96. Bottas will get 91. So, overall then, Verstappen has got more racecraft and more pace. And Bottas has got more experience and more awareness. So, it depends on which way round you want to do that. For me, personally, if I had a look at these two cards, I think Valtteri Bottas is a more well-rounded card than Max Verstappen. Obviously, Lewis Hamilton is by far the highest rated card we have on the game. Uh, of course, we need to wait for the likes of Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc to see where they round up against Lewis Hamilton. Of course, Leclerc is probably going to be a lower rated card because he's only been into Formula 1 now for two seasons. This will be his third season coming. So he's only had two seasons, so I don't think his experience is going to be that high. Vettel's probably going to be the biggest challenger to that. But there is Mercedes' race card. Next up, we're going to have a look at Renault then. We have got ourselves Daniel Ricciardo, who will be an 87 rated card, alongside Espan Ocon, who will be an 80 rated card. So starting things off by comparing the two of them then. So Ricciardo has got 76 experience with 90 racecraft, 86 awareness and 90 pace. Ocon has got 54 experience with 90 racecraft, 79 awareness and 82 pace. He unfortunately loses that in every single stat to Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, Ricciardo will be costing £9 million with a £6 million salary and a £3 million buyout. Ocon, £6 million, £4 million salary, £2 million buyout. Now, comparing Daniel Ricciardo, the closest match that we've got for him so far is going to be Sergio Perez, who's an 85 rated card. So he's a little bit lower than Daniel Ricciardo. But if we have a look at them, so experience wise, Perez has got 78, Ricciardo's got 76. That's very interesting. Uh, when did they both come into Formula 1? I think Ricardo came in 2011 and Perez was also 2011. So, yeah, around right about the same time. Uh, Racecraft, then Ricardo was on 90. Perez is on 91. So, Perez outdoes Ricardo on experience and Racecraft, 
Moving over to awareness, Ricardo's got 86 awareness, Perez has got 80 awareness, and then Perez has got 86 pace, Ricardo has 90 pace. So Perez is going to get you more experience and more racecraft, but Ricardo's going to give you more awareness and more pace. Um, so that's quite an interesting one to look at there. So Paris is going to give you more resource points uh, throughout uh, the season in order to upgrade your pizzas on your car. And it's going to be able to unleash way more overtakes uh, with the, his form of racecraft. Of course, it's only a stat by one, so it's only a one change in there. Um, but then in terms of his awareness, it is a lot lower than Ricardo's uh, by quite some, by a little bit of a margin. And then, of course, pace as well is a little bit lower. It's a very good comparison uh, between an 85 and an 87 with a one and a half million pound contract cost difference in there as well. Perez so far looks like probably the best card uh, for you to start off with on my team. But Ricardo definitely looks like a very, very strong card as well. Ocon is 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 all right. I mean, let's see if we've got any other 80 rated cards. We've got Kafiat and Tauri. So, uh, Kafiat and Tauri? Kafiat in Alpha Tauri. And uh, Gazi. We'll compare it with Gazi. Why not? The two French players together. He's got 53 experience. Ocon's got one extra experience. 90 racecraft for uh, Ocon. 85 for um, Pierre Gasly. 87 awareness for Gasly. 79 uh, for Esteban Ocon. And 82 pace for Ocon. Gazi's got 80 pace. So Ocon's got more experience, more racecraft, less awareness, and more pace. Um, so there's something to keep an eye on there. Uh, Gasly has got much more awareness. But if I was going to pick a card out of those two, I'd pick Esteban Ocon. He only loses that in awareness uh, and overall just has a better rounded card uh, than them. And unfortunately, for all you fans out there uh, that love Williams so much, they have been revealed. And they're not that good. I mean, Latifi has been absolutely shafted. In fact, George Russell does actually have a decent card on him, in fairness. So George Russell... Is a 4.4 million, a 4.5 million co contract cost uh, with three million pound salary and a 1.5 million pound buyout, and then uh, he's got 75 rated cards with 52 experience, 73 race craft, 78 awareness, and 80 pace. Uh, Latifi then has got 64 rated cards with 32 experience, 60 race craft, 80 awareness, and 64 pace with a 2.25 million pound contract cost, 1.5 million salary, and a 0 0.75 million pound buy buyout. Now, uh, comparing the two cards together, uh, yes. Latifi has been shafted, but he's not been in Formula 1 yet. So, <clears throat> if you're going to buy a driver for your my team, uh, Latifi there is, of course, uh, someone who's uh, brand new into the sport. Um, so, his experience is going to be very poor. So, he's really not going to get you that many resource points. His racecraft is not the best. Um, so, he's not really going to do that well in terms of unleashing overtakes. He's got great. He's got really, really strong awareness. So, you know, in terms of uh, not losing control of his car when the going gets tough, um, that's something that he'll be very good at. And then his pace is a little bit so-so. The card that I'm actually most impressed with is George Russell's card for a 75 rated card. 52 experience. Compare the two together here. Look, 52 experience. He's got a, just a little less experience than S-Man Ocon. He's got much less racecraft than Ocon. Very much close in terms of awareness and pace. Now, here's the thing. The only stat where Ocon really just shines daylight clearer than George Russell is with his racecraft, having 90 racecraft. Apart from that, George Russell is actually a lot closer in all the other aspects. Experience, minus two. Awareness, minus one. Pace, minus two. Take away racecraft from all of that. And you've got a very good signing here with George Russell alongside. So, yeah, it's very, very good, actually, uh, for George Russell's card. So, something that a lot of drivers, I think, will be having a look at uh, is for, for their teams. I'll certainly be having a look at George Russell uh, for my team. Um, but yeah, there we go then. So these are the three uh, next set of teams uh, who have got their cards. If you have enjoyed this video, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. Uh, I believe uh, if it says over the coming days is we'll the score for the rest of the drivers, I believe the next set of uh, ratings will be out tomorrow. Um, so I'll go ahead and cover those. We so far have now got six of the ten teams uh, have been rated. So uh, they either will reveal all of the others uh, tomorrow or they'll just reveal uh, one or two here or there. But um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back when the next set of ratings do come out for F1 2020. Take care all. Peace.